Hey guys, welcome back to the DNN Medical Series. It's your girl Nikki, and today I'll be helping you guys with a super important tutorial, and it's how to enroll or log into your Google Classroom. I know that school is online now, and you might be frustrated, your parents might be frustrated, the students are frustrated because they're not so savvy with technology. So I'm just here to give you guys a very detailed tutorial on how to do so. If you are having problem with this, do not beat yourself up. We all struggle and we all don't understand something. So this is me helping you guys. So this is basically a real life tutorial. My cousin gave me his login and he didn't understand how to do it. So I'm going to use his to get him enrolled to show you guys how to get enrolled. So don't worry. It's a real life tutorial. So what I'm going to do is start by downloading the Google Classroom app. So I heard you can do it on the browser, but I think it's easier to just get the app and you can just log into the app. So the first thing to download the app is to go into Play Store. So I'm going to click my Play Store here. And it's taking me to the Play Store place and I'm going to log in and type in Google Classroom. So I want to download the app because it's not on my phone or my device. You can use do this on your laptop, your tablet, your cell phone, whichever device you have, your iPads, you can do it on it. So I type in Google search bar in Play Store, Google Classroom. You see this green one, the second thing? That's the icon for Google Classroom. I'm just going to select that. And then the next thing is going to take me to this page. So when you see this page, the next thing you'll do is press install. So depending on your internet, it will take a while to download and install. And based on the space on your phone, make sure you have some space before you try to download it or it won't download effectively or properly. It will say you won't have any space. So while this is downloading with my slow internet, let me play a little song for you guys. Right, so we're here and it's finished downloading and you're going to see on Play Store, you're going to see uninstall or open. You would not press uninstall because that means you're removing the app. You don't want to remove it. You want to go in the app. So we're going to press open. So that's the one in green here, O-P-E-N open so i'm doing this very very basic so if there's students in primary school children in kindergarten and their parents are not very technology savvy they can understand exactly what i'm saying so the next thing i'm going to press is open so here when you open it it's taking you to the app so we're at the app now we're in the app and the next thing we're going to press is get started so you can read the information if you want it's telling you the importance of the classroom it helps you to communicate save time and say, stay organized so here we go let's get started and after pressing getting started uh your bunch of emails will pop up or if you have any email log into your device they will pop up so because this is a new app and a new set of email that you get from your teacher we're going to press add account here the last one add account so we're going to put in the email that we got from our teacher so while this is loading because my internet is slow let me play some more songs Oh wait, oh wait, it's here. So we're we're lucky, we're lucky, it's here. So what we're going to do, the email and the password that your teacher gave you, you're going to log in here. So I'm going to log in my cousin's email right here in the email area. 
So I think this is the email you get from your teacher. You do not generate this email yourself. Right, so we're at the add your email. So the teacher will basically send you the specific email that you should use. So it's basically your child's name and the initial of their middle name and their last name. So if your child is Jonathan Anthony Grant, it's basically Jonathan full stop a grant so that's basically how they do the email so you put the name dot the first name dot or a full stop the initial or the first letter of the middle name so a then the last name grant then you'd put in the number that is on theirs and then you press at m o e schools dot or full stop you would call it edu dot jm so as i said before this email is what your teacher will send to you so you don't make up this email yourself your teacher send this email and password to you and that is what you use to log in or sign into your google classroom so here i'm using my cousins and i logged in or signed or typed in the email the exact way so if the teacher sends this a specific way make sure the spelling of the names is the names are correct the number that they gave at the end is correct at this symbol right here with the a with the circle we call it at so make sure you have a at sign at moe which is ministry of education schools dot edu dot jm so you put in your email you're finished with that make sure it's correct then you press next so it's basically saying it could not find this email so what this is saying i made an error so if this happens to you it is saying you made an error and you need to clarify it so i deliberately made an error so you guys can see because it's we're not perfect we can make mistakes if you make an error don't worry you see this come up it's red you look back on the email the teacher sent and say oh i left something out so you'd put in what i left out is the number zero right after the last name so right there i correct my email because i left something out and it showed me that they couldn't find my account because if it's very specific so if you have something wrong in the email it won't uh, it won't process and carry you to the next page you have to make sure that it's correct so i corrected it now and i'm going to press next and look at that voila they accepted the email showed at, showed you that i type in the right thing now so the next thing we're going to do is put in the password so the passwords are very very specific so if it uses a capital letter you have to use a capital letter if it's used common letters you have to use common letters if you use numbers you have to do it so with the password my cousin gave me it starts with a capital r so I have to put the capital R, then I put in the rest of the password and the numbers that they gave. So the teacher will give you this as I said before. And you can press the little I icon right here to see if you type the correct thing. Remember, if the first letter is capitalized, it's a capital letter. And when I say capital letter, I mean like a big R, a big A, any big letters, big or the capital letter you have to make them capital because the passwords are case sensitive so if it's a big r use a big r or it won't log you in so i put in the exact password that the teacher gave me and then we're going to press next and look it takes you to this page it's basically talking about the the services that google offers and the service agreement and you're going to click you're going to click agree so it's going to take you to the account information. So let me play some music for y'all.
So it takes me right here. So it basically takes me to my cousin's class. And a key thing to note, guys, is to do not share your email or your password with anyone. This is private information for you and your child because you don't want, you know, others logging into your child's classroom and they can't log in because somebody logged in for them already. So every login is specific. So make sure you keep your email and your password private, okay? So here my cousin is in his class now and we see he's in 3O Laylord and yeah, that's his class. He's in 3O, he's in grade 3, starting grade 3 and we're going to press join. So here we're basically joining his classroom and he's basically in class. So you see any information from your teacher. So here his teacher is saying, welcome three. Oh, I'm so excited to have you wonderful children in my class. We're one big caring family. Let's learn with a nice art emoji. And this is so cute. So basically he's enrolled in his class. And this is basically how you log into your Google Classroom. You can look here on classwork. If the teacher gave you any homework, down the bottom of the screen, you press classwork. You can see. So he has not been assigned any work yet. So it's a, your teacher hasn't assigned any classwork yet. So if you got a classwork or a homework, you'd press classwork and you'd see it there. If you press stream, that's the home page. And people, you can see the different teachers, you can see your classmates that are already enrolled in your class, and yeah. So that's basically how you log into Google Classroom. I hope this tutorial is helpful, and if you guys have any questions, don't forget to drop them in the comment section below. Oh, and before I go, you if you want to change like your profile pictures, you can just press this three thing at the top. You see those three little icons, horizontal lines. You can change, do a lot of things. The settings are here. You can look on your classes. It takes you to the different classes you may have. It can takes you take you to setting where you can change your profile pictures. You can update your photo if you want to put your child's photo there, so on and so forth. And all these nice things that you want to do to just personalize your page because it's your classroom, so make the most of it. And another thing, guys, so after you downloaded Google Classroom from the Play Store and you went in your class for the day, you come out your class for the day and you want to go into Google Classroom another day because you downloaded the app on your device, on your tablets, on your phones, on your laptop, you can, it's basically there because you downloaded it. So you just scroll through your app and you're going to see. So look. Google Classroom is right here because I downloaded it. And you, op you press on it and it opens and takes you straight to Google Classroom. So if you already log into Google Classroom, it will take you back to where you logged in. And you can just go to your classes and yeah, join your classes. And if you have a class to join, you're currently signing as, you put your name there and the teacher gives you a class code. You put in your class code and you press join at the top when you put in the correct code and you go straight to your classroom. So you don't have to go to Play Store anymore to access Google Classroom. It's right on your device. So you just go in your apps, scroll through your phone and search for it and just press on it. Put in the class code. Press the plus icon one more time. If you want to join a class, we press the, the plus icon here. Get the class code for your teach from your teacher. You put in the exact code. You press join and you get logged into your classroom. It's basically me telling you guys to just have fun. It's new to all of us and you know we just have to take it one step at a time and as I said before if you have any questions drop them in the comment section below and I want you to share this video with someone else that may need help. I made this tutorial very basic so 
everybody, including the little kids going to kindergarten and the parents who are not very technology savvy can really understand how to log in. I know you guys may be having some problems, but yeah, that's why I created this just to help. And guys, don't forget to check out the DNN Medical Series. We have a whole variety of stuff and we're for everyone. Just general medical facts, just students going to university, just enjoying life and just things that we all want to hear and talk about. So subscribe to the DNN Medical Series. Until next time, it's your girl Nikki. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.